My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. <laughs> so yeah, true to hashtag's form, as soon as I start getting ready to film, she decides she wants to be in the video. <laughs> If I'm reading, she lays on my book. If I'm on my laptop, she gets on the laptop. So now she sees that I'm setting up to film, so she lays on my table. You refuse to be ignored, don't you? Don't you? You refuse to be ignored, don't you, pretty girl? <laughs> All right, so we're going to see if she leaves me a little bit of room right here so that I can show you what we're going to be needing for this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to be using Vanna's Glamour Lion Brand yarn but I'm not using this color I uh, just wanted to show you what kind of yarn it was I'm gonna be using the silver for this tutorial so we'll be needing that a 3.0 millimeter hook also known as D a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle <laughs> you're gonna play with everything aren't you hashtag I don't think this is gonna work little girl I don't think so I'm gonna take a bath on my table really <laughs> All right, and so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to leave a, just a little tiny tail. We don't need to leave a long one. And we're going to make a slip knot. You learning how to crochet hashtag, huh? Are you? Are you leaving me? Okay, and now we are going to chain eight. And then at the end of those eight, we're going to add three chains for a, for a little loop that we're making. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to keep my finger on that eighth one because that's where we're going to stitch into in a minute. Now I'm going to make the extra three. One, two, and three. Okay, now insert your hook into that eighth chain that we made and make a slip stitch. Okay, and now we're going to chain three one two three and now what we're going to do I know this is hard yarn to see but I'm sure you're using an easier yarn what we're going to do is we're going to skip a stitch and then in the second one we're going to make another slip stitch okay I hope hashtag isn't too too distracting okay just make a slip stitch and then chain three one two and three and just repeat that all the way down. Skip a stitch and then go into the next one with a slip stitch and then chain three. One, two, and three. Do that all the way till you get to the end and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I just chain three. I'm going to skip that stitch and go into the very first chain that we made and we're going to make a slip stitch and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work around and this is what we have so far. So into each of these little loops we're going to make slip stitches, okay? So we just chain three, turned our work around. Now into the center of that chain three we're going to make a slip stitch. Chain three again. And now go into this little center area of that chain. Slip stitch, chain three. Go into the next little loop there. Slip stitch, chain three. To the very next one. Slip stitch, chain three. Okay, and now right here, that first chain three that we made, remember we made the extra chain three? We did eight chains and then an extra three. Well, here's the extra three. We're going to go into the center of that. It's hard to do. It's hard to hold on to right now. And we're going to slip stitch into that. Chain three. Turn our work around, and we're just going to repeat that. Now into that very first loop right there that we made, we're going to just repeat what we've been doing. Slip stitch, one, two, and three chains. Go into the next loop, 
right there, slip stitch, and one, and two, and three, go into the next one, slip stitch, one, two, and three, super duper easy, and then once again, here's that chain three at the end, we're going to go right into the center of that, don't forget that last one, chain three, turn your work around, and just keep doing that. I'm going to do this until my work reaches about 14 inches. I measured Petrova's head, the circumference of her head, and that's about what it's going to take for this to go all the way around her head. Okay? Alrighty. So let's go ahead and meet back here when you have the length of headband that you need for the baby or the child that you're making this for. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in a bit. I uh, actually wanted to come back and let you know that if you're making this for an adult or a teenager or an older child and you don't think this is wide enough for an adult's head or a bigger child's head, you can um, just make a wider chain. We made eight and then an extra three. You can go to 10 and then an extra three or 12 and then with an extra three and then just follow this same pattern. And yeah, that would be perfect for an adult or a teenager or an older child. So I just wanted to come back and let you know that this isn't just for babies. This can be for anyone, especially with summer and um, wanting to keep our hair out of our eyes and stuff and look adorable at the same time. Alrighty guys, I will see you back in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make my 14 inches of headband. And this is what it's looking like. Isn't that just adorable? You can't see the sparkle, but it actually sparkles. This is sparkly yarn. I love it. All right, have fun. Okay, so I'm back, and this is what it's looking like. And I'm all finished. And I wanted to show you that I ended up stopping at about 13 inches. Um, just because I didn't want it to be too big for Petrova. So I've got it at about 13 and it does stretch so I love this because it's nice and stretchy so yeah now we are pretty much finished and I'm going to show you how I am going to close it up I wasn't sure how I was going to do it I'm just kind of going to wing it and uh, I don't even think I'm going to sew it I think I'm just going to slip stitch it with my crochet hook so I think I'll go like this and I'll grab that area where we first made our first slip knot grab the working yarn as well as the tail and just make a slip knot to begin with then I'm going to go into this very first loop here and go across to the area over here and make a slip a slip stitch Okay, so that's how I'm going to close it up, just by slip stitching it closed. So you can do that, or you can get your tapestry needle and sew it up if you want. So yeah, there we go. That's all stitched up. Chain one at the end, and here it is. It's closed. And so yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, cut this right here and weave this in okay just pull that through snug that down and we are finished and I incorporated that well enough so I think I'm just going to cut that too okay and so now you can turn it this way and what I'm going to do I made this rose already to go on my headband and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link up somewhere right here so that you can um, have a link to know how to make the rose and then I'll put another link so that you can go and make your little leaf here and then I sewed the two together and that's pretty much all I'm going to do this is a super super easy tutorial but I am going to um, wait for you to go make your rose and your leaf and sew them together and then I will meet you back here to show you how I am going to attach my rose to my headband all right all right go follow the link just click on the link and go learn how to make this adorable little tea rose and leaf 
All right, see you in a bit. Have fun. Now that you have your rows and your leaf sewn on, position your rows the way you want it. How do you want your leaf? Do you want it up there? Do you want it to the side? I kind of want mine, oh, not quite all the way up, not quite to the side, a little bit to, yeah, I think I want it like that. Or do I want it down? No, I think I want it like that. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this tail and I'm gonna push it through one of these holes here, okay? And then I'm going to take the green tail and the pink tail and push it through one of these holes down here. There we go. All right, so just pull that through. And then what I'm going to do, now that I have that, I am just going to tie them together simple as that no sewing involved whatsoever <laughs> and then just cut your tails and that's it you're done adorable headband <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and try this on Petrova, take a little video of her and uh, pictures, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you had fun making this. I sure had fun teaching you how to make this adorable little headband. I love this design because it is nice and stretchy. Alrighty guys, I love you so much. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone that you come in contact with. Alrighty, bye bye. <laughs> Do you like your new <laughs> You like your new headband? Do you love it? Huh? Do you just love your new headband? You started doing all that cute talking a couple Yeah, like that. You started doing that a couple days ago, yeah. Hi, baby. Glamour loves you. How do you love your little headband? Your mommy just took you to the mirror and you started talking to the baby in the mirror. Look at how adorable. Look at how adorable you are. Yes, you are. You are so adorable. Yes, you are. Hey, Glamour baby. Glamour baby. Hi! Hey, I just got a picture too because you look so cute. I got a picture too. Oh, oh, look at how cute she is. Everything she does is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll let you go. I love you, baby. Say bye bye to all our crochet friends. Say bye bye. See you next time. Okay, that was a good goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for watching our Glamour's channel.